Things do look weird, huh, babe? Yes. Is it too wide for me to shake in espresso? Good morning. It is Friday. The weekend is here. I'm starting off my Friday with some Starbucks because I woke up late today. I was supposed to wake up in time to go get Starbucks and also shoot this morning, but it didn't work out. So I just ordered Uber Eats. I don't have any more espresso pods. I need to go get some today. So I got some egg whites and I also got a shaken espresso with almond milk, a brown shaken espresso. And I wanted to share this thing that I saw on TikTok that I actually think has been helping a lot. I don't know if it's like a mental thing, but I genuinely feel like it's been a game changer. And I saw this, I don't know if she's like a nutritionist or what she is, but she's definitely like a professional in the field of skin and food. And she said that if you struggle with hormonal acne, like me, try not to have coffee first thing in the morning. Try to eat something first and then have coffee and see how that affects your skin because when you have coffee first thing in the morning which i have been doing for the last ye like years i've been doing that she said it makes your skin enter into shock so it can cause the breakouts even more so i'm gonna have my breakfast first and then i'll have my coffee because that's what i've been doing lately and i feel like it's been a game changer for my skin i don't know i don't know if it's a mental thing but it feels like it's been working Please don't mind the dishwashers going in the back because I just put the dishes to wash. But that pasta recipe, I've actually used that recipe in another video in my what I eat in a day. I'll link it down below. It's such an easy recipe to make. It was Friday night. We were torn between whether we do to carry out or if we make food at home. And since I grocery shop fairly late in the week, I decided to just do dinner at home. So we did the easy pasta. I'm enjoying some wine and I made us a little snack plate for our movie night. Let me show you guys what we got. We have Boom Chicka Pop. I love this popcorn. Strawberries, some sour worms, some gummy bears. These are hostess like muffins or like cakes and then i made these pumpkin spice cookies which i got from the store and then i have some reese's cups these are actually reese's thin so they're a little bit smaller hi mom and here's our movie night setup we moved the inflatable up here because we can't really enjoy like a movie night in this living room because the couches are separate so we bring up the inflatable so we can like actually lay down together and we're looking for a movie to watch because we don't really have one in particular that we're going to watch but we do want to watch something a little bit like suspenseful to get the spooky vibes going i wanted to watch something like spooky for you know getting the spooky vibes going but i actually don't like movies that like are super spooky i like more like suspense like true crime suspense horror like um what was the movie that we watched honey downstairs the other day black phone, black phone is such a good movie that's like the perfect spooky movie if you like suspense and spookiness but not like super super spooky where it's like we'll give you nightmares because that was like the perfect like balance so we're trying to find something like that but we don't have anything picked yet this is what our friday night is looking like pretty wild if you ask me did, did you think <laughs> friday's such a wild friday night oh yeah so wild quote is sad because she can't have any treats <laughs> She's literally scratching at me trying to get lucky, but I'm not going to give her any. Can't have none of this, mama. <laughs> get your daughter. Leave your mom alone. <laughs> mama, you can't have none of this. Then you're going to be sicky. Then you're going to be sick, girl. This is a Saturday morning rush in full effect. I just finished doing my makeup in the car. My brows do look weird, huh, babe? They look weird. I'm gonna get a pencil at Sephora. I forgot my brow pencil, so I did my makeup without it, but 
since I recently got microblading, it doesn't look too crazy because I have microblading, but I think I'm gonna get a pencil to touch it up. But we had a early morning. We went to see our friends uh, run a marathon, or was a half marathon, half marathon. And um, so we went to go support them this morning. I was running super late. And now we're at a friend's brunch for her birthday. This is what I'm wearing. It's super breezy today. It feels very folly. Eric's in a hoodie. It's Are cold. you hungry? He needs the bathroom and I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I'm really hungry. So we're gonna go to Sephora really quick to get her a gift and I'm gonna get a brow pencil while I'm at it. And then we're gonna have brunch. This is one of my favorites creams to use so i'm gonna get a little travel size of these because i know she'll love this i because the smell on this is so good i want to try this brow pencil from Too faced it's a super fine brow detailer i think i'm gonna get it in espresso i'm also gonna do fenty's glow uh lip gloss and heat i've heard really good things about this one and i like the shade so i'm gonna add this to the little gift bag and lastly cannot go wrong with some way scalp and body scrub So we're here and we're waiting for the party and I got a pumpkin spice espresso martini. now after brunch we went to the mall um to do some shopping and then we ended up meeting back up with our friends for her birthday and we got home like around nine and i've been just getting looks together for tomorrow because tomorrow's my content creation day i'm going to shoot in dc so i had to get looks together for that and um i wanted to show you guys what i got at the mall before i go to bed because i already have my pjs on i did my skincare Hair is up. I'm ready to sleep. I don't know why lately I've been so tired. Like this morning, it was really hard for me to wake up and I had a good seven, eight hours of sleep and I was so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I think what it is is I'm not being consistent with my eating lately. Like I haven't been making the meals that I usually make that are like tracked like with protein and like you know intentional eating and i feel like that's kind of affecting my energy because i'm not having like energizing meals you know what i mean like i'll have like this week i had like frozen dinners of like trader joe's and like not that those are bad but they're just not as nutritious um so i feel like that's been affecting me and i also only worked out twice this past week because of travel so I'm just trying to like think why I'm feeling so fatigued and I feel like the combination of those two is making me really tired. But anyways, let me show you guys what I got at the mall because I got some good stuff. So I stocked up on all of my coffee because I didn't have any coffee left from Nespresso. So I got my same old, same old. The double espresso scuro is the bomb for iced coffee. The Costa Rica is bomb for hot coffees. I got the Bianca Allegro. I, I love this for iced coffee as well. And then I got the Iced Legro, which is great for iced coffee. What I actually have not tried is a pumpkin spice cake. And I got this because I wanted to try something different for fall. I haven't had a fall pod before. This is my first time trying anything fall. So I'm excited to try this. Today at the bar, um, oh yeah, I showed you guys when we were at the bar. I tried a pumpkin spice espresso martini. It was so good. And it was such, like it was perfect because... I didn't really have coffee today like that. So when I tried it, I was like, oh, this is exactly what I needed. So I stocked up on my coffee and then I went to Cotton On and I found the cutest leather trench coat. Look at this baby. I don't know if you'll be able to see my entire, like how it fits me entirely here. But guys, this trench is it for fall. Like it is so nice i love the back i've been looking for a leather trench for a while so when i saw this at cotton on i was like oh, yes 
So I'm gonna shoot in this tomorrow too. I have a really nice outfit that I'm gonna wear with it. And then I got this really cute set also at Cotton On. It's like a bralette. I actually haven't tried it on though, so I'm not sure how it fits, but I think it's cute. <laughs> it's a bralette where you, so I wear the bralette like this. And then this sleeve warmer, this black like knitted sleeve warmer that just covers your sleeves and is kind of cut at the top with the black bralette I feel like would be really cute so I need to find time to shoot this outfit as well but these are really cute fall pieces that I found on cotton on I feel like cotton on is really great quality items as well they're like they remind me of like Uniqlo but they have more variety and more trendy styles um but what, what I wanted to mention was one of the things that really helps me maximize my closet and my like wardrobe basically is for every season I write down like staple pieces that i feel like i need in my wardrobe for that season so one of them was a, a leather trench coat so when i make these notes of like essential like wardrobe staples that i don't have that i want it makes my shopping so much more intentional because now when i go into the mall i don't go in there blindly and like spend money on things that i already have or that i have similar of or that i don't need like i have an actual list on my phone of staple fall pieces that i want to invest in what that helps me with is when i have a list of things that i'm missing i'm not going to spend my money on other things like random like oh this top is cute let me just get it like i'm not gonna do that because i already know what i'm missing if that makes sense i feel like that really helps me like stay intentional with my shopping and not like over buy that's why i'm so happy i got this trench because it's been on my list for so long i have a winter list i have a list for next summer like i already kind of have an idea of things that i'm missing and i feel like it's going to make me more intentional with my shopping so i just wanted to share that little tip but okay i'm ready for bed i'm tired and tomorrow i have to wake up early because i need to be in dc by nine and oh, that means I have to leave here at 8. So, because, you know, DC traffic can be crazy. So I'm going to leave the house at 8. So I think I'm going to wake up. Can I get ready in an hour? Am I up for the challenge? I think I can because I have all my outfits planned out, everything packed. All I have to do is shower. Maybe I'll get up at 6 to, like, have more of a chill morning, make a coffee. You know. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning. was such a great shoot we got three outfits out of the way and um as soon as i got home i took my makeup off i changed into my gym clothes i made myself a protein shake and i changed into my gym clothes because i have to work out today like i have to i mean you know i don't have to but i really need to because i was so off this week and i need to work out today to complete my amount of workouts that I wanted to do this week. I usually don't work out on Sundays. That's usually like one of the things that I'm strictest about is not working out on Sundays. But since this week was really off, um, I gotta get it done. But I wanted to show you guys how I plan out my content for the week. Um, when I dedicate Sundays to creating content, I usually like to edit as much as I can the day that I shot everything um, and kind of like schedule it for the week it, if you guys don't know I do have a full-time job I work a nine-to-five so um, I do work from home so there's a little bit of flexibility but for the most part like I um, you know I have to work a full-time job so it's hard for me to dedicate a lot of time to content creation during the week so that's why I really have to maximize on my weekends and so on Sundays when I shoot and 
you know do all the content creation then i like to actually edit and plan everything out because that in itself takes so much time so i'll dedicate my first half of the day to creating content and then the second half of the day to actually editing and scheduling it so let me show you guys what has been a game changer for me when it comes to content creation planning so this is the planner that i use it's a digital planner that i bought off etsy and i'll go ahead and link it down below but it literally has a section to plan out every thing for Instagram and TikTok. So this is what I got completed today. This is my Instagram feed post planner. So this is where I plan out all of my Instagram photos. So this is what I'm planning to post. Um, I have my photos planned from Monday to Thursday. So this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And it's very detailed. You can even, I didn't do this part, but you can even plan out Oh, this is from last week <laughs> but you can even plan out like the caption that you want um the hashtags anything you want to link and you can also trace like where in the process you are with this post you can track the analytics and then write any notes on there i didn't do this for the feed posts i just planned out the feed and edited it but that's also an option as well and then i have my to-do list down here for my to-do list this week um, some goals that I have and then I love the weekly tracker where you can track the number of followers you started with the number of followers you ended with that week and the top performing post your engagement rate and the number of times you posted and then I also planned out my TikTok from Monday to Wednesday um, and I love this because because I hate the feeling of like having a TikTok idea but you don't remember what sound it was or you don't remember the idea but this allows you to write everything down like as soon as you can so I have my TikToks planned by sound and the idea from Monday to Wednesday and all three of them are actually already edited as well I haven't updated the Instagram Reels covers that I'm going to use for the week but I do have them already posted on my like fake feed this is my fake feed so that's what i've been doing for the rest of the evening i am really battling with wanting to go to the gym but i'm gonna do it because i mean i know that once i like show up i'm gonna like in the mood but getting out of the house and getting there is like the hardest part um but yeah that's what i've been doing for the rest of the day i also meal planned let me show you guys what i use to meal plan because that's also another digital item that i use that i like use every week so i have this weekly meal planner where you can plan your breakfast lunch dinner and snacks monday to sunday i usually don't plan after friday because usually weekends we eat out so this is what i did today as well i planned out all of our meals i planned out what i have to buy and then um i instacarted it i love using this planner because it helps me not double buy. So I think I've showed you guys that meal plan before, but that's basically what I did and groceries are actually here. So I need to bring them in. I'm gonna show you guys what we got for this week. All right, groceries are in. I'm gonna show you guys what we got for the week. Cause I'm actually really excited for the recipes that we're gonna be trying. So first up, dang, this is a huge salmon. Wow, this big old salmon. We're having friends over tomorrow for dinner and we're gonna do a salmon recipe. It's um, just salmon with mashed potatoes and yummy Brussels sprouts. So we wanted to get a good size salmon for us. I think this is gonna be more than enough. Avocados, hummus, and cucumbers. We're doing a Greek night, like a Greek chicken bowl. But also I saw these cucumber like boats on um, TikTok where you scrape out some of the cucumber, you put some rice, some shrimp, and some mayo, like sriracha mayo mix, and it's like a great snack. So I wanted to try doing that this week, so I got two cucumbers, some iceberg lettuce, because we're gonna do tostadas on Friday, I think, or Thursday, soy sauce, because we ran out, and some sun-dried tomatoes, and arugula, because there's a sandwich. Guys, I literally, every meal that I make is either, because I saw it on Instagram, or I saw it on TikTok. I wasn't really ever taught how to cook. So I had to rely on like Pinterest and social media to teach me like different recipes. So now that's like all that I follow. But there's a sandwich recipe that's so good. It's like a salami, prosciutto, arugula sandwich. And Eric and I had it last week twice. So I know we want to do it again a few times this week. So I got some arugula and some sun-dried tomatoes because it calls for that. I don't think you're ready for the recipes this week. I don't know. This is the meat that we use for the sandwiches. We got some steak. We're gonna have steak tostadas. What are tostadas? Oh, like just the flat joints? Yeah, 
with avocado. Also, what are we doing for chicken? Oh yeah, I got the chicken for the, we're doing chicken tzatziki bowls that we did last time. They were so good. And then I also got the shrimp for the little like cucumber bowl. I actually just realized I didn't buy any produce because last week we did our grocery shopping like on Thursday um, and we got all of our produce because we had just come back from traveling. So that's why we don't have like any strawberries or anything because we already have some from the last order. Um, this week I'm also making chicken noodle soup, which is, I'm so looking forward to it because it is chicken noodle soup weather. So I got chicken broth and then this is tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes for the mashed potatoes. And then I got pretzel chips to snack on with hummus. And then I just got a bunch of the produce that I need for the different recipes like the carrots, celery, onions, dill, cilantro, zucchinis, and some minced garlic because we ran out of minced garlic. Alrighty, so that's what we got for the week. I am looking forward to getting back on track with eating because it's last week and this weekend. Like on our way home from brunch, we had Burger King and just... A lot of decisions were made this weekend. We're not going to dwell on it, but I'm just excited to get the week started on a right note. And yeah, that's basically my weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.